Hey, hey, sugar babies. It's your girl, Sugar, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be a quick little video because, as y'all can tell, I'm talking super duper fast. So I have somewhere to go, but I did want to give y'all this video because I posted a picture on my Instagram. I posted a video on my Instagram story, and I was like, would y'all like to see how I achieved this washing up? So I was like, okay, well, let me do it again for them. So as you can see, my hair is already washed dang near dry but it's still it's still wet um so we can't call it dry and go it's definitely a wash and go i washed with biolage three butters shampoo and conditioner and um i pre-pooed with what did i pre-poo with shea butter which i think this is right here on my edges um shea butter and aloe juice and I just put those together and I washed and I twisted it up, which gave me this great life here. So with that being said, uh, I'm just going to go in with the African Pride's Moisture Miracle line that they sent us. It was the leave-in strength, uh, uh, leave-in cream, hydrating and strengthening. And the key to achieving, let me tell y'all, the key to achieving this is to be in a rush. <laughs> no, seriously though, like the key to achieving this look is to let your hair dry because we don't have time to let it dry on the road. You can't walk out with drenching hair. And one product. And I like this leave-in cream, one, because it smells good, and two, because I think it dries really, really fast. So what I'm going to do, now y'all know I usually take my wash and goes in sections. I usually take it in sections because I want the product to get all over. But guess what I'm gonna do today? Just smack it right on on there. Get it, get it through. Get that product through. Make sure to get them edges because they looking real rough. Sorry, y'all. Keep looking at this because I want to make sure y'all can see what I see. But yeah, get my edges. Boom. Side one done. Oh, hold on, I gotta get a little bit under there too. Can't have the naps in the bottom. Take some more. Boom. And we are done with that side. Next side, we are going to do this side. Seriously, y'all. It really was not hard at all to achieve that look yesterday. Um... The key is, like I said, is to be in a rush. Do so. What I did was like I skipped steps. So you know, normally I take it in pieces and I brush. I brush with my dim man. I brush the product through, all that good stuff, right? Well, today to skip the steps, I ended up skipping steps by combing with or brushing with my dim man brush in the shower. I brushed with my dim man brush in the shower twisted it up uh when the conditioner was on there and then i i moved on to the next section so that gave me like a, a bit of a leave-in don't forget about the back of your hair because you don't want that to be puffy and a secret between me and you yesterday my back was puffy i just got a good i got a good angle on the ground um, but yeah, so I skipped my detangling process by just doing it in the shower and it made it a lot easier actually because, um, yeah, I didn't have to do it when I get out. See, like I'm not even detangling right now, but I wanted that big look as well. So I didn't want to tame it when I got out the shower. So when I want really tame curls, I'll do my natural thing when I'm in a rush and I just want big curls. This will work, honey. Um, what else? So skip steps like detangling in the shower, deep conditioning in the shower, all that good stuff. And as you can tell, my hair is back a little moisturized. It's back to life. And I am going to get in the car and I'm going to let my windows down. And I'm going to go for the whole air drying thing. Y'all seriously? 
I'm just gonna be an everyday person. Like, I don't have time to be waiting for my hair to dry today. Like, I literally have to be somewhere. So, you work with what you got. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So, that's what we got. This side is a little bit poofier. But, you know, no curls are perfect. It's more hair on this side. Probably should have used more products. But, it's okay. So, like I said, I'm going to get um, in the car. I'm going to let it dry. I might insert a clip from Snapchat into the video. But that's really it. That's really how you achieve a fast wash and go. Did you see it was already dry when I got out the shower? Not already dry. <laughs> um, but it was mainly dry. And I did towel dry today because when I towel dry, the water soaks up a lot faster. Um... I let it air dry while I get got dressed. So as I was getting dressed, moisturizing my face, brushing my teeth, all that good stuff, I was letting my hair dry. So I took the towel off and I let it air dry. So when y'all saw me, it was almost bush. But it was still really wet on the inside. So cut steps, do what you gotta do, because I'm not doing any heat. As y'all know, so I can't use my blow dryer and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna wing it. So if you like this quick video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank y'all for wanting to know like how I got my quick wash and go. And I will see y'all next video. This is the final results on the wash and go. So, it's first day big hair. So, if you want to achieve this, remember you got to be in a rush to achieve it, okay?